Because wine is a constant theme here at Kansas City Live, we were thrilled to discover a new urban winery right in our own backyard. Now, if you haven't heard of Amagoni Winery in the West Bottoms, you soon will. Once a hidden gem, it's quickly becoming quite the hot spot in KC. The motto here is drink local, which makes perfect sense when you realize everything at this urban winery is grown, harvested, aged, bottled, and served right here in the heart of Missouri. I started growing grapes in my backyard in Leewood about 15 years ago. And one acre turned into five acres, and now we uh, have uh, an urban winery. The brand has been growing steadily over the past five years, and they've gone from relying on word of mouth to now some very thirsty mouths. We were very small, but always wanting to produce good quality Missouri wine. I think the concept has gone over very well because we have brought the wine to the people of the city versus having to go out to the country and go wine tasting. Cheers! The husband and wife duo recently opened a tasting room in the West Bottoms after restoring the century-old building. Now they're opening their doors to wedding parties, corporate events, and after-work happy hours. And there are quite a few things that make this space unique. We have wine on tap and that we actually keg our own wine. And it's kind of a novelty just to have wines on tap, let alone your own wines. Absolutely. But don't be fooled if you've tried other Missouri wines before. We uh, are trying to do a product that is not normal in the Midwest. The biggest misconception about Missouri wine, about our wine, being in Missouri even, is that all Missouri wine is sweet which is not true. And so there's a lot of skeptics. Of course, we do not grow the grapes that the traditional Missouri winemakers grow. Uh, we grow all vinifera, French varietals, and produce a very beautiful dry style wine. If you get a chance, stop on by and show the love. The Amagonis would love to show you a little of that Midwestern hospitality and tasty grape goodness. I would say right now it's beyond what we ever envisioned. We thought we'd just be this little tasting room chugging along. We love it. I love that they started off with a dream of this in their backyard, and now it's totally taken off for them. I love that. Okay, how was the wine? It was amazing. It was really well done. It was very uh, California-esque. And so when I have had Missouri wines in the past, they've been kind of sweet, but this, is, mm -hmm. this was Missouri, or this was California-esque. It was very nicely done. And it's a great, and it's a phenomenal space, too. I love yeah, it, it looked like a really cool, like, fun, hip place to hang out. And sample wine. They did. They, re, they redid it a la the, 19, the original 1909 structure. Let's go there. We're going okay. there. I'm taking you Deal. there for sure. All right. 